My mother has a plastic routine that we must follow every time we unpack groceries. You straighten the bag, fold it in half horizontally, fold it into triangles, and tuck the handles in. If you do it wrong, you start again. Straighten the bag, fold in half, triangles, tuck the handles. Straighten, fold, triangles, handles. Lately, there haven't been many plastic bags to unpack. It has been a year of this since my mom lost her job. I keep closing my eyes and willing the food to appear, but it doesn't. This time is not like before. Before a plan was always made, this time was different. A fistful of sadza and gravy, tea for my mom and sister, coffee for me. Black with expired icing sugar, left over from a year ago. I drink one cup and another, three more, one before I climb into bed. My tongue and teeth are stained brown the color of my skin. As I calm, as I climb into bed, the sound of liquid jiggles in my stomach. I think that even that sound is better than nothing. I wake up on Christmas Eve, softly and insistently, a voice drives me out of the house. I am walking to the nearest mall. I see her, and I know she's the one I have to ask. With a simple nod, she leaves me, and after a bit, she comes back with two bags of food, two bags that last us until January. I think about her often now and wonder if others have shown her the same kindness she showed me. I find Frida in the good and bad, in repeating the acts of kindness, even to those I don't like. This is how I thank her, and this is how I find her, Frida.